today blog will be talking about face detection before this we were using dlib hop for face detection which was giving us an accuracy of around 80% but that was been a bottleneck in our attendance tracker project since only 80% of the faces were been detected the prediction that was given was only for the 80% of the students present in the class that is 20% student even though they were present since they were not been detected they were not been marked present that's why we looked into improving the accuracy for face detection this whole week we worked on exploring the different face detection models that are out there in terms of the accuracy and the cost that is the amount of resources they used after which we have finalized with dlib cnn which gives us a 100% accuracy but it has the downside of requiring larger amount of time and also requires a gpu to run but since it's giving us a 100% accuracy we have decided to go with that so uh, for comparison uh, this is this cell was just standard installs that we'll be requiring that is open cv and dlib after that we just have a few standard imports now this code right here is for dlib face of detection this one will give us an accuracy of 80 percent it runs comparatively faster and takes up somewhere around 20 25 seconds to run so if you just give it a moment so post time skip bathe here uh yeah so this took around 23 seconds to run obviously that will be boring so i have just cut out that part of the video where i was just waiting around but yeah as you can see out of the 30 or 40 or so students present here five of them were not been detected one two three four five now this is obviously an issue since these students are present in class their attendance should be marked that's how we decided to switch and start working with dlibcnn dlibcnn gave us a lot higher accuracy compared to dlibhog here is the code for the same it's a pre-trained model it's a cnn uh, pre-trained model so we will be needing to load the model here that's why we require a face record or dat file so as to load the weights and bias for the said model so i will just run this code now so yeah again post time skip with here as you can see we are pretty much getting a 100 percent accuracy for all the faces here all the students in the class all of them have been detected and so yeah that's the reason we decided to switch there were a few other models which are giving similar results but their cost in terms of amount of time taken and amount of gpu ram used was significantly higher so we did not go with them and we just went ahead with this so thank you for tuning in guys